Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul. I'm a watchman on the wall in Northern California. It's 9-20-19. I want to get straight into this, uh, this article. It says, Pope Francis launches a global education alliance. Pope Francis <clears throat> has announced out of the Vatican that on May 14th, 2020, he's inviting all world leaders and political leaders to come sign a global pact on new humanism. A global pact coming out of the Vatican to be signed in May 2020. This is the Vatican YouTube channel right here, Vatican News. You can see it's coming directly out of the Vatican. <clears throat> here's one source. And here's the second source. Pope Francis invite political leaders to sign Global Pact, but this is misleading because it's not just political leaders. <clears throat> it's leaders of all types mostly religious. So let me explain what's going on here. Since as early as the 70s, when I first started reading the Bible, I've understood the seven-year timeline and the three-and-a-half-year timeline talked about in the book of Daniel. In order to understand end-time eschatology and the final wrap-up of, of the Bible and how it ends, you have to study the whole entire Bible. You can't just read Revelation 13 and get full knowledge out of that. It's it's referencing different parts of the Bible throughout. And as, as young as I can remember, what it says is that there's going to be a political leader rise. They're referred to as beasts here. There's going to be one is going to be a political leader leading economy. Uh, war, things like that, war and peace. And then there's going to be another one that's a religious leader. And it, and it talks about these two beasts. One of them's going to have a head wound. Many uh, theologians have suggested that. <clears throat> it's amazing how all of a sudden in my mouth, just uh, all of a sudden, you know, you go to, to talk about things like this and your mouth gets all froggy and... and uh, backed up and all that. I mean, I simply find it amazing. I hate the devil so much. I literally hate the devil so much that he does this to his messengers. I rebuke him in the name of Jesus Christ and the power and authority of Jesus Christ. I'm sick of it. We are going to put these messages out. My throat will be clear in the name of Jesus. This is serious. I'm not joking around here, man. So there's going to be this political leader and there's going to be this religious leader. And they're all going to point to each other and say, worship the beast. And the beast is going to come out with a with a number. And, and, uh, and if you don't accept this number, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. If you don't take the mark, it's going to be a mark. It's going to mark everyone in the world. So it's not just going to understand this. So religion so to speak like we have christianity we have buddhism we have Hare krishnas we have mormons we have uh, latter-day saints we have catholics all of these will become one religion that's what it says in the bible you have to study the entire bible all of these all religions will become one religion and the one who sits atop this one world it'll be a world religion where everybody's the same religion. And this is like for peace sake. And they're all going to worship the same God. <clears throat> and they're going to think they're worshiping our true living God in Jesus Christ. Our Messiah. Our Savior. But it's going to be an anti-Savior. An anti-Christ. Given power over this world. So on one side you'll have a political leader. And on the other side you'll have a, a prophet. A religious leader, but it's a false prophet and a false Christ. And they're going to be two of them, and they're going to both tell you, look, worship the beast. You understand? And Satan is going to be at the center of this fake 
this, this evil Godhead. It's a satanic trinity. When you look at what's occurred with the eight years of Obama and him still on the scene doing Netflix productions and, and having a home in White House, a mansion with his own staff. If you look at Obama and you look at what Trump is doing in this world, what's going on in Israel, and now this false prophet right here rising up to tell you to sign a, a new global pact, uh, then you can see this is the combination of the end of times. This is the culmination of Bible prophecy. There is no doubt about it. So what's going to happen is people will come and sign this pact. And, and, and they'll be, eventually this is going to lead to one religion. It's setting the stage for all of this, and we are very close. Let, 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 let's go to this article. If you Let me show you here in Revelation 13. It comes down here in 15, and it says, And he, he had given, uh, and he had power, so this is the beast. And he, it's a system, do you understand? And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. So and then it says that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship. So picture this system where you have a one world leader. That's the false prophet. And you have to study Daniel and a lot of other prophets in the Bible to understand this. You're going to have a religious leader and a political leader. And one of them is going to be the Antichrist and one of them is going to be the false prophet. And it says they're going to cause you to worship the image of the beast. So it's going to be like a person. Do you understand? And if you don't worship him, you'll be killed. So it, so they'll form this one world currency. It's globalism. They'll form this one world currency. They'll form this one world government. So like there'll be one government, not just like the United States government, and then the Israel government, and the Pakistani government, Saudi Arabia government. It's going to be one government with one currency and one religion. And the goal is to get everybody to worship Satan. That's what everything is pointing to. Your TV sets, your newspapers, your media outlets, they're all leading and pointing you to this day. And that day is approaching. The, the, the scene is set. The stage is set. And if you don't worship this beast, you'll be killed. Matter of fact, if you don't accept this number, it says, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. That's everybody, do you understand? That's everybody. It's just, this is just a way of saying he causes everybody on all walks of life, race, religion, everybody, to receive a mark in their right hand or on their forehead. I personally, you can disagree if you want, that's fine. I personally believe that the mark of the beast is going to be the, some type of RFID chip embedded in you that you can use for <clears throat> security purposes in your hand. You can use it for security purposes. You can use it for banking purposes. It, it's going to be some type of chip implanted in you. I fully believe that, but you don't have to. But that's just an example of how it'll go down. People are already getting these chips in their hands right now. And that no man may buy or sell. You won't be able to buy anything or sell anything unless you're part of this system. And you have to have this mark. And in, 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 in my belief, it's a chip. And, and, and so here is, so we're looking at, we're looking at two trajectories here. You're looking at a false religion rising and a, and a false world leader rising who's going to be claimed to be God. So here you have, and it's going to occur like simultaneously, right? So here you have the false, the religious part of it is in place. Coming, I'm telling you, coming out of the Vatican on May 2020, let me see, so October, November, December. So eight months from now, in eight months from now, the Pope wants to have all these people come together and it says, what types of leaders and stuff, and we'll get to the article, to sign a global pact on new humanism. So right now they'll say it's for education, but if you read some of the quotes coming, uh, this is coming out of Rome on September 13th, it says, in a renewed and enthusiastic, let me get this a little bit, 
and a renewed and enthusiastic endorsement of globalism, Pope Francis has announced he is hosting an, initi uh, an initiative for a global pact to create a new humanism. The global event set to take place at the Vatican on May 14, 2020 is themed Reinventing the Global Educational Alliance. It says, according to a Vatican statement issued on Thursday, September 12, the Pope is inviting, now listen, because this just says political leaders and stuff and all this in this article. It's not correct. We'll go with the original source. It says he's inviting all main religions. See, this is not really about education, saints. Main religions, international organizations, various humanitarian institutions, as well as key figures from the world of politics, economics, and academia, and prominent athletes, scientists, and socialists to sign a global pact. And here's the announcement right here on YouTube. How many views does this video have? 6,000 views. I'm telling you, if people were awake to know what was going on right now, this should have millions of views of people trying to figure out what's going down. And at the same time, a world leader is rising. Now, many are going to say, oh, are you saying such and such is the Antichrist? Are you saying Trump's the Antichrist? I'm telling, this is what I'm, this is exactly what I'm saying. The Bible says a world leader and a religious leader are going to rise up in the last days and cause you to worship the beast. And if you don't worship them, you'll be killed. I'm telling you that is happening right now, is what I'm telling you. You can look around and see the players. Anyone could rise up right now out of anywhere and claim their Christ. What's important is, what your understanding is, is that the Bible, the final stages of the last three and a half years, seven years and then three and a half and three and a half, this is in the book of Daniel, a three and a half year period and then a second three and a half year period. This is called the tribulation and the last three and a half years is called the great tribulation or Jacob's trouble. Everything is beginning in that. It's all set up. And Christ, it says Christ will appear in the sky around this time. This is exciting news for many of us, and it shouldn't instill fear. But YouTube has a way of causing fear and panic and people getting to run here and there. But all you need to know is that these final pages of the Bible are fulfilling. And you have to be on the side of good in Jesus Christ. Or on the side of evil and Satan because you're either going to go to heaven or you're going to go to hell and it's happening right now under your nose and watchmen are pointing it out it cannot get any more clearer that this is happening matter of fact they've put a date on it of May 2020 so they have eight months to get everything else lined up Confirming, uh, confirming the peace covenant, making peace. It, you know, <clears throat> and when they say peace comes sudden destruction, you're going to see people talking about peace here quite a bit. I, it's going to occur. We're on a countdown to the final days, and you're all in my prayers. I pray that you share this warning. You like this warning. You uh, you comment, let me know what your thoughts are on this. It's important that we discuss this, saints. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend, if God wills it.